Hi, I'm Kendra Onyx. And I'm Gio Ferrari, and you're watching the Boulet Brothers Dragula Titans Episode 6. Boobio! Mama. Well, welcome back, Gia. How was Mexico in her native tongue? Ah, uh, muy divertido. Me encantó. Me cogieron como cinco veces. Estuve caminando bien. Ah, uh, como si se bien, bien cojo. Así se dice. Un, un poco así. Pero sabes, me encantó. Me divertí bien mucho. And in English, great. Great time. Thank you. <laughs> no, for real, say that shit in English. I don't know what no, you No, it was a great time. You know, <laughs> went out a few nights and had uh, fun one or five times. And, you How know, was the three teas? Tacos, tortas. Oh, tacos, tortas, tostadas, tamales. Tocino. Four teas. Five teas. Uh, tinga. Did you have some tinga? No, there was no tinga. You had some pinga. Mm, I, I sure did. Yeah. So I, had a, I had a great time, but I'm glad to be back. And I saw May Day uh, during her boo. She did a great job. We will definitely be reviewing the three again. of us soon. Uh, so so let's that. cheers to that. Cheers to May Day, May Day. And don't be a bitch. Take it to the head. Take it to the head. Oh, <laughs> take it to the head. <gasps> Damn it, I didn't get it to the end. Oh, Heavens. Jesus Christ. Then keep going. Ooh. So before we begin the episode, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Demore Wigs who styled this beautiful stunning yellow wig. Oh, this high pony yeah. with the little tendrils. tendrils. It just gives me 2000s realness. Yeah. I just want to fucking uh -huh. to pink. Do it. So go follow her on Instagram. She is at Demore Wigs. She has a really fast turnaround yes. time. So She I did a this. couple of my wigs. She did my um, Brighter Frankenstein wig that I wore on Halloween. Oh. In Boston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have another one of these that I got in white, which Ooh, I might wear soon. White. But uh, go ahead and follow her. So right down here, wherever David last died. Up here. Oh, it's gonna be right up here. here. Oh, oh, my oh my god. god. Okay, so something interesting happened to both of us this week. On the same exact day, November Was it 29th. The same day? Yeah. <gasps> so November 29th, Kendra's um, best friend's dog. My baby. Had puppies, six of them. Yes, she has six puppies. It was the worst thing I've ever witnessed in my life. I don't recommend it. I almost threw up twice and I screamed a lot. But the puppies are cute. They look like little jelly beans. They're like this big. Oh my gosh. They're, yeah. I don't even think they're I this the big. Pigs. They're so, they're, and they, they bark a lot. They actually sell, okay, so. I watch a lot of nature shows. Have you ever heard a baby alligator? Wait, is that a show or like a baby alligator? Like a baby alligator. Oh yeah. That's exactly what they sound like, the little puppies. Oh my God. It's weird. I'm like, oh, girl, am I in the swamp? Am I in Florida <laughs> Girl. Well, on the same exact day, my biological human sister oh. had her own baby. Oh, fuck my perrito. <laughs> girl. She had a little girl. She is so cute. I can't Congrats. wait to meet her. I haven't met her yet because I just got back from Mexico, so I got to do the, you know, the quarantine to make mm -hmm. sure I don't get COVID out there because you're not, you know. This is your second niece, right? Yes, second niece. So I'm so excited. So you beat me because I have one real niece and I have two nephews. A human niece. No, I have two nieces. <gasps> I shit. So you beat me. Yeah, my niece was born mm. a long time ago. Girl, I need to start talking to my family. Become my mother. There's no, just saying. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive into this episode. So all the contestants walk in, and clearly it's no secret that Abora mm -hmm. went home because everybody watched the shit. Yeah. So how do you feel about Abora going home? Um, I actually liked Abora's look, even though it wasn't like a prom dress. Mm -hmm. uh, they were a cheerleader. Um, I I thought their look was a little bit stronger than Astrid's. I feel the same way. I favored Abora's look over Astrid's yeah. look. But I guess the Boulets put in track record. Abora mm -hmm. was eliminated three times. Twi yeah. Well, twice, technically. Mm -hmm. In the bottom, every episode. But, I, I mean... I, yeah, I, I mean, I see where they're coming at where it's like, the, the challenge was prom, and, I mean... True. That's like... 
them saying, we're going to do a football challenge, and you show up with a tennis racket. Yeah, so, um, I mean, it, Abora's gone now. So I still love your ass. One third of the love triangle's Bye. gone. Now it's a love. Now it's just a love. A love line. No triangle no, no more. Just a love. Just a love. Like this. Oh. <laughs> this is the weirdest heart I've ever seen. We'll put more fingers. Oh. Uh, look, now how cute. Girl, is it the lighting bird? It's you. Our oh, is it color me? looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Look. What's wrong with you being chocolate? No, you look lighter in the light. I am oh, light. No. no, never mind. Like this will look the same. Well, yeah, the inside of my hand is lighter. There's more nerve endings on the inside of your hand. You it, bitch. Fix your mug. <laughs> My mug is fixed, bitch. It's I thought you were dead. gonna say, I don't need to fix my mug. Come this on, isn't... Mystique Summers Madison. Oh, Jesus. I had to rewatch that I season. I can't even drink now. So, the fright feat for this week is arm wrestling. They gotta, yeah, they gotta arm wrestle each other, and the last bitch standing is they get to choose. Do you think it'll be me in arm wrestling? No, I think it'll be me. You wanna do that? Right now? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, why don't you be me? I'm gonna be so in bar. I'm gonna be in bar. In bar. I'm gonna be in bar. Ready? I haven't arm wrestled in like. I haven't arm wrestled years. in months. When I was, when I was, twelve. Okay, one. Okay, hold on. You guys call it out. What my arm breaks? I won't break out. Ready? One. Oh. One. Oh my god. Two. Three. Go. <laughs> oh, bitch. No. Ah! <laughs> my heart is broken. <laughs> so, I'm a, imagine. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Round one was Victoria versus Hoso. Two skinny bitches fighting it out. <laughs> <laughs> And ultimately, round one goes to Victoria. Jess. Although I will say, Hoso Teratoma and that curly, like, red wig that she had on. It was very rocker, very 80s for me. I thought she looked, yeah, she looked, actually, she looked like my mom when my mom had long hair back in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your mom with long hair in the 80s with blush on her chin. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> And then round two is Eva versus Coco, which I feel like that's kind of like, you know, an even match. Because mm -hmm. they're, I mean, they're, they both got muscle. I mean, I saw Eva's like- They both hair, got muscolo. Hairy ass arm with that bicep coming out. I was like, and I still want to know why Eva is not hot. She keep wearing sweaters under her shirts. Like, that's crazy <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> uh, girl, I, I just, that, Eva versus Coco, I was like, Wet. She was wet. Wet. And ultimately, Coco wins. Coco, Coco Quinn. Coco knocks her ass out. She gone. Bye. Bye. So round three, we have Miss Melissa versus Ostrich, and uh, Melissa got muscle. There, and this was the this was the one that everybody was looking forward to because there was tension. Yeah. Astrid was like, "Yeah, I'll say Melissa." I'm like, "Sis, I don't know what you ask. Her. I don't think you know what you're asking for." And Melissa was like, "Well, let's go because I'll beat your ass." Melissa took that flat list bird out. She took that flightless bird out. She took the lizard out. The cloaca ain't working. So then round four goes in. This is like double time. And then it is Coco versus Victoria. Girl, when I say uneven matchup, Coco went, she went like this. That's like me versus the new puppies. Oh my God, girl, literally. <laughs> the puppy in her. Girl. And then the final round was Melissa versus Coco, and I was like, okay, come on. I didn't know muscle. who was gonna win this one, because both of them have musculos. Mm -hmm. But, ultimately. Coco had more musculos. More musculos. She, she went, said that $27 gym membership is paying off. Girl, what gym? Let me win this fry feed. I paid, I paid $10 at the Planet Fitness. Not even that, I don't even show up. Well, maybe she go to a gym with a tanning bed, Ooh. like a masseur. A sauna? What gym you going to, Coco? Ooh, let us know down in the comments. So Coco ultimately wins. And because she wins, she gets to choose the groups for the main Chalon, Chalon? which is the Ugly Ladies of Wrestling rematch part, part two, the duel. sequel, Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo, part duel. Uh-huh, part duel. So she gets to choose the team. So they get separated into two wrestling teams, and Coco picks Melissa and Eva. Of course. Basically, the well, buff goils. We know who, sh who Coco would have picked if I was still there. It would have been Melissa and you. It would have been legs, it hips, and been body. Legs, Come hips, on. and body. 
And so that leaves um, Astrid, Hoso, and Victoria in the other group, the non-muscle goyles. The weaklings. The non-muscle goyles. The weaklings. So they meet up with the stunt coordinator, Emmy, and she shows them a couple moves to do in the ring, like the slap, the hit on the head, the kick. I the guess. dick in the mouth. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> I was not ready. I wasn't ready. So she teaches them a couple classic wrestling moves like the hair pull, the slap, the hit on the table, the chair, the chair. And I mean, the contestants learn it and then they have to choreograph their own show. And they have to incorporate some of those moves into their show. Yes. But let's go ahead and jump into these looks, mama. Jess, Jess. I have to say Jess, because you just came from, from Mexico. So first up, we have Hoso Teratoma. What'd you think of their look? I loved Hoso's look. I know she said it was based on a beetle, but it gave me Macho Man Randy Savage down. And she would have pulled out a Slim Jim and snapped it to the Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have lost it. I what? Do you know Macho? I don't know what you're referring to. Okay, Macho Man Randy Savage, but WWF, when it was WWF, now it's WWE. Because the WWF is the World Wildlife Foundation. All of a sudden. All of a sudden I knew that because I donated, I was tricked into donating one time outside of a local brewery and I was like, sure, and it was freaking monthly for like a year and I canceled it four months later because I was dumb. For real? Mm -hmm. At least she's saving the animals. Good. So what you think about it now? I really liked your look also. For for Hoso, this was very understated actually. Because we know Hoso likes to put she everything. Got a spike like, here, then a, a pincer here, a pincer here. I got, I got the beetle reference. Face and here. It reminded me of one here. of my favorite shows from the late 90s, early 2000s was Big Bad Beetleborgs. Big Bad Beetleborgs. Big bad beetle boy. Metallic. You know what? <laughs> is this the first time you've made a reference? I think it is. We gotta drink to that. We got to. We mm. got. I feel like this is the first time you made a reference. Mm. I used to watch Fox Kids a lot. So oh god. So I know that. My mom. But overall, I think this look was really, really great, and I'm gonna go ahead and actually give it two thumbs up. Two beetle thumbs up. Two pincers, beetle board, thumbs up. I really like this one. It yeah, was good. It was so good. So good. You don't even know. Next we have Eva Destruction. And what did you think about her look? Um, I um <laughs> That says it all. Mm -hmm. I thought Eva's look was was good. Okay, it was good. It was cute. It was fine. I thought Eva's look was there. No, I, uh, okay, I didn't hate her look. Eva's look was fine. So when she was like showing what she was gonna do mm -hmm. with her padding, she was adding like these ropes to the padding to make it look like really veiny. And I'm like, that's really cool. Like yes. that's a really cool idea. But then when the look actually came out, you couldn't see the veins at all. At all, I think she underestimated how tight her tights were gonna be. Yeah, maybe she should have gotten some like makeup or some paint or something on the actual tights. And painted on the tights. Uh, yeah, painted on the, the little, the, the the rope that she had on to make it visible because you couldn't really see it at all. Um, I liked I liked Eva's hair. It was a cute little mohawk. Uh -huh. I liked her makeup. It was Eva's makeup. Uh, the look, I think, you know, could have been grander, could have been, I, I like the idea of the, she got thick thighs, so she's gonna have thick thighs but you couldn't really see the thighs. I feel like, little old me once again, little old Kendra, little old Kenneth Hampton, I feel like her details were wasted. If you were gonna have uh, bigger thighs and bigger calves, make them bigger thighs and bigger yeah. calves. This to me looks like regular drag queen padding. It, it really does. Um, yeah, it, it's, I think it's- This looks like your padding. Uh, girl, the drag stop down below. Go find my padding at the drag stop, mama. You don't pad, so you, you find them at the- I was gonna pad for the zombie Dr. challenge. Dr. Borkin, oh, you were. I sure was. All right. Well, what do you give Miss Eva? I give Eva one thumb. Um, I'm gonna do a half thumb. It can go either way. I don't think it's a terrible look, but I don't think it's a great look. It's just a half thumb for me. 
Miss Eva. Destruction. So next up we have Miss Melissa B. Fierce. Yes. What you think of Miss Melissa B. Fierce? I love Melissa's look. She said she took inspiration from China and it 100% showed. I actually know who China is. Who China was. Okay, so. okay, okay. Yes, China has unfortunately passed away. However, Gia know who the bitch is. I don't know who Gia. Mm. Um. She struck this pose. She was like this. It was a very bodybuilder. It was it was good. She was fully realized. She had a fully realized character. Yeah. She had the dumbbells on the stage. It was chef's kiss. Yeah, her, and it looked very that, of that 80s, 90s era. Absolutely. It was so cute. She had her branding on her chest, the MB from Melissa B. Yes. The hair was like teased and it looked perm. It was, this it was, was great. This was you a really know what? strong look. I'm doing it. Then do it. It was. And That's it, what I'm giving Melissa. And I'm giving her two thumbs up. This was a really, really good look for her. It was good. Ooh. <laughs> it was great. I, yeah. So next up we have Miss Coco Kane. And how did you feel about their look? Girl, Coco had some tetas. Tetotas! 300 pound ass titties just ready to knock you the fuck out. I can't even imagine how heavy those titties were. Bro, they had to have charged her like on the plane for the overweight charge. Or the, oh yeah. I, I kid you not. I saw these titties. I didn't see the titties. I saw the box of the titties. Huge. I've big never ass. seen a box that big. It was huge. The look itself was not the greatest for me. The look itself was very minuscule. It was just... But she had them legs, hips, and body. Come and on. Bo she did, but I just feel like it was just a panty... With a little, well, not a little bra, a big ass bra or big ass titties, but that was it. There was really, aside from that, there wasn't really much to the outfit itself, in okay. my opinion. So I think the gagaroonies of the big ass hips, the big ass titties, the, you know, I think the gag of that was what was like, holy shit, that's great. But when you really look at it, the look itself was. Um, but I don't think you understand how heavy all this shit is that she's wearing. Okay, but that doesn't make it that, like it doesn't make it It's great. a good look. It's a Did you not look. gag? Did you gag? I gagged at the titties. Did I gag at the outfit? No. Did, okay, did you gag at the presentation? I gagged at the presentation. Period. So what do you give her? One thumb up. I give her one thumb because the titties and the hips, the body, everything was there, but I feel like the outfit was just, Half a yard of fabric is all. Not, not even that. <sighs> not even that. I'm giving her two. I thought it was great. It was well thought out. It was part of her brand. I thought it was great. Two. two. <laughs> so next up we have Miss Priscilla, Miss Victoria Elizabeth Black. What do you think of Miss V E B? I. I liked this look. Okay. I feel. Like, once again, when Victoria has to do, like, makeup, makeup, it, it's lacking for me. Okay. Like, the costume, tens. You know what I mean? The prosthetic application, tens. It was great. But I felt, uh, it's, the challenge was ugly ladies of wrestling. She was ugly. I don't feel like that was a lady. Do you? Am I tripping? Am I on Staten Island? Am I on Lonely Island right now? Um, I don't know. I think... I know all the Victoria Elizabeth Black fans are going to come for me. They're going to say this, that, and the other. Battle like... Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you we're subscribe almost at 4, and hit the bell. We're, ah! we're almost at 4,000 followers. So if all of y'all would just subscribe, we good. I, by all means, this is not a bad look. It's not. I really like it's like, the makeup the, for me. I, I like like the she had like a saw kind of thing. Like a know? saw. Yeah. It was a saw. I love the saw franchise. By the way, it's so good. I saw the first. Uh, hold on, I saw the first one, two, three, and part of the fourth. Literally, we almost like, broke that shit. During that's COVID. how excited I was. Um, yeah, I think her makeup was 
whatever. Dimitri. She was going for like a um, Neanderthalis. It was Dimitri. Kind of look. And I think um, it was fine. I don't think I don't think she really needed to go there if she would have just done a mug. But it was um, okay. But how bomb would this have been? If she kept the Neanderthal forehead, the unibrow, and then just like contoured her cheeks, highlighted it because the bodybuilders of the early, like the the 80s and the early 90s, their things was femininity. Mm -hmm. They wanted to look like the dudes, but still be feminine in the face. Mm. That was the thing. That would have been that would have been cute. So because her outfit was was cute, her outfit was actually really cute. It was good. Yeah, it was and really good. Her makeup was there. Well, it was on. She had makeup on. Um, I'm gonna give her one thumb, one thumb up. Same. Next, we have the lot lizard herself, Miss Astrid Aurelia. And what did you think about her look? Um. When I saw the lizard tail, I was like, here we go again. Lizard tail. I liked her presentation of it. She was, you know, cartwheeling and shablamming and jumping up into a dipping, dipping dip, sit, dip, give a little cake, bring it back up, then sit. Oh, on a what? You'll be up in this club. Everybody up there, tell you not. What song is that? Feel your beat by Wish. Oh, you, you were not saying any lyrics. Astrid Aurelia. She said, feel your beat up in this club. Yeah. Can't nobody out there tell you nothing. Drop that thing like dun da da dun That's what I said. I said, feel your beat. Could y'all hear yeah. that? And I, I want to know. Rewind the tape. Rewind it and tell me if y'all heard that. Did that said. sound the same? I want to know. I guess this was like a lot lizard. Do you know what a lot lizard is? I know what a lizard is. Okay, so a lot lizard is like... Okay, so when... Um, four, 18 wheelers, excuse me, I said 14. 18 wheelers go and they park, that's the lot. Mm. And the lot lizard is the girl that works the lot. Oh, me. Pretty much, mm -hmm. you're a lot. I'm a lot, lizard. a lot lizard. But I felt like this was like, she was going for in her mind, like Zochi 2.0, and this was like Zochi 2.0. 2.0, my mom. I, oh, I didn't like this look. I, it was... Mm. It was the fur jacket, and then I don't know where the fur jacket came from because she's a lizard. But then it was the jean short. It was the jean shorts for me. Ah, uh, yeah, the look I thought was honestly it was my least favorite of the bunch. I love the tail. The tail, I like that she was using it as a prop. She was whipping that shit, and her performance was like kla kla kla. It was good, but the 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 not pussy because she's a lizard. She was very cloaca. Cloaca. I think, yeah, it, uh, the t aside from the tail performance, the look itself was me, there. Me, me. Not even me, me, me. It was like. It was there. It was, she had it on. It was on her body. It was a piece of fabric on her body. Well, it was a bodysuit with a bikini with knee pads with jean shorts, and it looks like a jean. Shrug? Something. With a fur jacket. What are you gonna give it? I'm gonna oh give it. God. This pains me because I love Astrid. I do. I really, really love Astrid, but I gotta give you two, two thumbs, thumbs down. down. Sorry, girl. I have to. I'm sorry, sorry Astrid. Gay. You know I love you. You know I love you. Don't not follow me for this. Sorry, girl. Follow me for this, because I don't think you follow me on this series, so please follow me. Thank you. So the teams were Coco, Eva, and Melissa versus Hoso, Astrid, and Victoria. So Astrid was against Melissa. How do you think that fight went? I think it went great, honestly. Their performance was great. Melissa was really, um, she was she was acting and then reacting. Yes. And she was just, she was. Melissa was in it. it was, she was. You could not tell me that was like a character that Melissa was playing. Girl. I felt like Melissa was there, Melissa she was, was fighting, she was, she was on the side libre. of the ring, Lucha she was slapping down, titties, mama. talking about everybody's look. Melissa was giving me Girl. life, she was giving me actrice, and I loved it. I, I, th I think it was really great. And then Coco and Victoria were straight up just horning in the back. I loved it, I loved it, I, I loved, loved it. I loved it too. I love Coco, she wound up with the, with the punch, like boop, 
And then she like the the Z's. She Ooh, said that was the girl. size of those she was things. Using the those Z's. As a weapon. She was fucking everybody up. She was uh, fucking everybody. I'm surprised no necks were broken with those cities. I'm surprised her neck was not broken girl. with those cities. The bounce back alone. The bounce back Everybody. alone. But I, I enjoyed their bout as well. Yeah, I like the porn. Mm-hmm. I jerked off to it twice. The porno. And then the last group was Eva and Hoso. And what do you think about their fight? Um, I feel like they were... Uh, it didn't feel believable to me. Yeah. They were just kind of It felt like, choreographed. Yeah, they were like, boom. They weren't... Re- like the way that I said that Melissa was acting and reacting, I feel like they were just kind of... Acting, but not reacting to each other. They were kind of just there. It was just, it was, it was fine. It was very like you, boom, pow, boom, boom, pow, mm-hmm. ba-dum, boom, clack, dun, 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 dun. Isn't that a song too? By yeah, it boom, clack, the sound of my heart, the beat goes on and on and on and on. And Why do I always Charlie the lyrics, X-X. And I know the lyrics too? But yeah, I felt like Eva and Hoso were more cerebral with what they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Cerebral. But they weren't doing the moves that they were taught. Mm -hmm. And that was part of the challenge. Yeah, it it was. So the placements are Melissa Bifias ends up winning the challenge. I I clap, I thought it was well deserved. Hand clap, round of applause, 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 applause. I live for the applause, applause. You know those lyrics. I do, I I like Lady Gaga. It's the same word over and over. Applause, applause. I thought it was a well-deserved win. Well-deserved win. Fantastic. Highs were Astrid and Coco. I don't think mm, Astrid as a high. I felt like Astrid was a high because she was paired with Melissa. Her performance was high. Her performance was high. The look was not high. Her look, maybe she was high when she put the look together, but her look itself wasn't high. Yes. And then? Uh, The safes were Miss Victoria. Yes. She was a safe, which was, okay, she was safe. Yeah. And the bottom two was Eva and Do you agree with that? Yes, they were paired together and they were the weakest of the bunch. They didn't look they were. believable. Um, their looks, well, Hoso's look was good. Hoso's look was good, but it didn't fit right. Mm-hmm. And Eva's look was on. The Eva's look was meh, 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 run the house. Yeah. It was, it was a leotard. I, I just wish her vision was like on the screen. Because I can see it in my mind, and it would have been, like, so yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, same. It, like I said, when she was putting the ropes, I was like, oh, this is going to be so cool. It, okay, so, so sickening. do you watch fa- um, Family Guy? I used to. I had okay. been years. So there's an episode that Roger becomes a wrestler mm-hmm. and because he has really powerful legs. And they show, like, a close-up on the legs, and there's all those veins. And I just wish that she would have painted the veins on. Yeah, even like because she clearly had the ropes underneath the padding. If yeah, and you she couldn't even see them. If she would have contoured on her padding or on her tights. It yeah, it would have made it pop out. It made it a little more you know. Oh, thank you. Well, she didn't. She didn't. So Eva and Hoso are in the bottom. I'm too. And then Swan, she's you know she's giving her judging, and she goes Coco. I want to know if this outfit was the first choice. And Coco starts explaining her case, and then. The sabotage comes up again. That her stuff is getting stolen. Cut. Not only stolen, cut. but she even said that her bikini that she was wearing is now cut. Yeah. And uh, what do you think? Do you think? Do you think something's happening? Or I mean, Coco's think- not sitting there cutting her own shit. True. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Who Can could it be? This, this animal that I did see. Not the boomer fool. Come on. With we the gotta, crap, brother. We gotta, we gotta do one for that. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Marty saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. She know those lyrics. They followed their but new bouncing the friend. The not knowing where this adventure will end, the animals were headed just around of them. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go. Oh, was that right? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I better work. I better work. Mm, I love the boomer food. Who could it be? This animal that I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Yeah. I was Abu's dead now, so. But I mean, oh, are they dead? I'm pretty sure the lemur that was Abu was dead, yes. Oh my God, I was like, 
Are the Crab Brothers dead? Oh, no. Oh, I wanted to fuck when I was No, younger. was it Chris or was it Martin? No, Chris was the It was either oh, or. No, no, I prefer Chris. Martin looked old, but Chris looked... Mm. My 10-year-old self, I was like... Mm. Not 10-year-old self. 10. Thinking about D.I.E. But I mean, shit, I was like, what? Five? Well, no, I wasn't five. Years. I'm older than you. How old are you? I'm 32, you're 37, you're my sister's age. So you were 10, I was 15. So I wasn't even thinking about D.I.E. Oh, my God, is she sitting my ass? So then we go to the cauldron, and they're just basically like, okay, shit, like, fuck, we're in Bonner. And this is a strong top six. This is a very, very strong yeah. top six. Well, what have made it stronger? I don't know what you're I'm, gonna I'm gonna say that every episode. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't you give a fuck, fuck what y'all say. But what made it stronger is if I was on the season and I, Gia Ferrari, would have been here because I Gia would've... Ferrari would have went home because she would have had to dip her head in blood and guts on the first episode. So what is that? You didn't think I could do it? You said you wasn't gonna do it. Oh no, that was Mayday that said she wasn't gonna eat no brain. No, I could, I could, I would, girl. I would do it. Sesos? Sesos. Ay, Dios. Con el taco. Tortilla. Just some You gotta keep tortillas on the motherfucking wig. So you like, cebolla, salsa. Imagine I didn't put a whole last tortilla out. <laughs> Flour. So, do you think? Like Astra said in the confessional that, oh, well, I know Coco's messy, so that might be it. But if you're messy, you're not cutting your own shit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty messy, but I know where my shit usually is. I'm messy, too. I actually, when I put stuff and away. And I know where shit is. When I put stuff away is when I lose things. Absolutely. Uh, you can go in my room right now. It's going to be messy. You already know this. But you will find your shit. I sure will. You and know. once I clean up everything, that's when I lose shit. Yeah. So, who knows? I guess we'll see. Only time will tell Only who's time. the... Who's the thief or who's the cutter. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm, I'm a, a child. I'm a mother. I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. Oh, I was in the fifth grade at summer camp singing that. Fifth grade? Yeah. Back in 1972. Don't do me. Don't do me. So as both of them ascend the stairs of soul, Hoso's like, I don't want to go home, but I know Eva doesn't want to go home. I don't feel like I'm going home. Then Eva's like, I don't feel like I'm going home. So it's like, damn, who I'm a room Who's for? Going Who's going home? And they both come up, they're on their little thingy, and they're like, all right, here we go. And the Boulet brothers say, Eva. And it's like, uh, uh, what? Nothing happens. And then they're like, Hoso. And Hoso's like, oh shit, it's bad. And nothing happens, the lights come on, the doors don't open, nobody falls into oblivion. Nobody, 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 nobody. What do you, uh, do you agree? I don't. Okay. I don't agree. Somebody needs to go home. I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. I wasn't sure who was gonna go home, and honestly, I was like, torn. I was like, I don't know who I want to be eliminated. They're two very strong competitors. Yes. However, competition. It's a competition and somebody had to go home. I went home. Miss Mer Miss Frizzle. I, I went a, home. I was a front runner the whole competition. And I Grandmother bitch. Once. Grandmother bitch. I mean, grandmother bitch. Sure, it's coming soon. But, I mean, shit. Who would you have sent into oblivion? Based solely on the challenge, Hoso would have fallen. Hoso didn't do the moves, any of the moves that were taught. I agree, actually. I think Hoso's outfit didn't fit correctly. If we're, we're got, we have to nitpick at this point. Eva was trying. Eva was engaging to the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eva I, did the move that she was taught. Yeah, I, I would have also sent Hoso into oblivion. And that would have been crazy because I love Hoso. I love Me too. her aesthetic. I feel like. Hoso should continue on, however, it's one challenge. It takes one challenge to fuck up. We all know this. Yeah, we trust know, me. We know. We all know this. We know. Are we like, oh my God, <sighs> we're straight. But they both were Don't saved. But the Boulets, Dracmorta says, this double save will have consequences. Which means to me, is it gonna be a double elimination? Double elimination. They're like, you know, we saved y'all, but we're soon gonna be like, bye, bitch. Goodbye. Imagine. We, only, you imagine? Order, we only order 10 episodes. Can you imagine 
Victoria, and Hoso up there, and they both fall. I imagine how gagged everyone Girl, would be. Girl, I would be gagged. I would be gagged. I would be gagged. And she don't gag. And I don't, for shit. So if y'all want to find out, follow me She gags for shit, but she doesn't gag for it. Mm, we'll never. So that was the episode. Do you agree with that? Um, I think uh, I think Melissa B. Fierce was a well-deserved winner. Well-deserved winner. I thought the, the bottom two were, was a well-deserved well bottom deserved two. Well-deserved bottom two. But I do think somebody should have gone home. Somebody should have went home, but they didn't. We're not the boulets. We ain't. And so it was not our decision. But whatever. What did you guys think? Let us know down in the comments below. Make sure you follow us on all of our socials. Also down below. Make sure you follow Demore Wigs. Also down below. Make sure you follow Miss Emmy, the stunt coordinator. Uh, also down below. Down below. And like, share, subscribe. Hit, hit the, the motherfucking bell. bell. So it goes ding, 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 ding. ding, 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 ding. And we'll ding, ding. see you later. Oh, lay, lay, lay.